Hey guys, uh, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these videos for you guys. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, sadly, uh, my father, who was in the last video, 93 year old father, had passed away uh, a few weeks after that video. And it's it's been tough. Uh, we've been dealing with a lot, as many of you know, who've lost a loved one. Um, Anyhow, he lived a good life. I'm really glad we got to go camping that one last time. That was really his last, last trip. Uh, he loved to travel, um, and he probably several months ago started just asking, hey, can I go camping with you guys? Um, just like to take a trip out there and see what it's all about, and it was a great trip. Couldn't have gone better. Uh, family came along. Uh, both from my side, him, and then my wife's side. And <clears throat> again, he had a great time. We all had a great time. And that was just, like I say, shortly thereafter he was gone. But uh, he's in a better place, as we all know. And I don't want to make it a sad video, but uh, that's what I've been up to. Um, beyond that, uh, trying to move forward and think about possibly another camping trip um, we did take another trip just to get away um, rented a car and drove a couple hundred miles away from here a uh, little town called Solvang just to get away um, if you ever have a chance to camp in that area or just go to that area we stayed in Airbnb I highly recommend it uh, it was great but beyond that um, I actually canceled DirecTV completely now, and I'm in the process of actually sending back all the equipment. Um, so I need to make a trip actually out to the RV to pick up one of the DirecTV boxes, the one of the last ones. Which I only brought one back when I did that test. You guys may have seen me doing that test out here in the backyard which really just kind of was the nail in the coffin for me for DirecTV. I was trying to prove out a few things and it's not so much the setup of everything. It's, that's not too horrible. Um, although it can be, if you can't find the satellite, I'll admit that, uh, <laughs> Starlink's way better in that regard, but, uh, you know, their guide and their, their recording of things just got worse and worse over the years. Um, I don't know what to blame it on you know a company changed hands a few times or got bought out um so i don't know if they lost their main programmers that at one point you could actually you know set a recording and it would it would do it like it would record it when it should you know you get your shows and it wouldn't try and skip channels through a recording or uh i think the main complaint was it would start recording shows that were not um, first runs and it would just jam it up with a bunch of secondary you know reruns basically uh, that's the main complaint I've heard about from people I know um, anyhow I did cancel it. it wasn't that bad there's some videos online uh, really you just call an 800 number I'll try and actually put it in the below in the comments um, or in the description here pretty straightforward to do uh, they didn't really give me that much hassle. I, you know, at first, I actually um, paused it and then canceled it. So that's over with. And on to um, Starlink only, which had a weird thing happen, as long as we're on that subject, too. Um, if anybody has a Starlink, leave a comment below. Uh, it's been great, but... We have the RV, which I think is now called mobile version, um, which probably makes more sense. You know, not everybody has an RV that has the mobile <laughs> version. You know, maybe they're, I don't know, taking their boat out, you know, or they just taking it out camping. It's not necessarily RV. So I think it's called mobile now. Um, what happened was it seemed like I was about ready to get double build or had gone through this period all of a sudden they were trying to charge me um for a month i already thought i was charged for 
Well, it turns out my card had expired and it's really weird. Their invoices versus actually what you pay are not very clear. I had to dig into their, you can use the app, but you end up actually going online for some of it. It's weird. I think you have to, I don't, yeah, I guess you can pause through the app, but anyways, went in there and figured out that my card had expired and they weren't able to charge it on the month I actually used it. So it was carrying over. As soon as I put the new card in, hit make a payment, uh, there was a little red error above it said the account was expiring. I was like, oh man, I don't want to lose access to you know Starlink because I hear how hard it is to get going again. And yeah, so that's pretty much what happened. Um, got that going again. Haven't used it since February, but uh, we'll reactivate it once we do. And our plan is just to use it for the apps um, instead of DirecTV. The DirecTV online app wasn't that great anyway. So, but honestly, now that we've been kind of cut cut the cable, so to speak, um, it we haven't missed it. We can't even keep with all the apps out there, and most of the news and everything else we thought we'd miss, we there's an app for it. So, it's really not too bad. Um, you know, I think we were on DirecTV, geez, I want to say 25, 30 years, something like that. Matter of fact, when I called to cancel, uh, the guy said, man, you've been with us forever. <laughs> and did make an attempt, slight attempt to talk me out of it, but we were done. Um, anyhow, so yeah, Starlink and then uh, need to go out there. Uh, so the battery, weird thing happened. I keep the battery on a battery minder. I think I've done a video on that. Um, <clears throat> I could have put a link for it too, but it seems like when I hook the battery minder, I have an AGM battery as a backup. Some of you may know that. Um, and I think it screwed it up because I put it back on the regular battery and it, it just keeps airing out. It's a flashing red, I think it is. I can't get it to go past that. Um, it's a little $40 battery minder. I, I believe I got it at Walmart battery minder junior or something like that so I ordered another one because I heard these things do go out which I wasn't really aware of at the time but I need to get the battery charged back up so I can go out there pull the slide out um, and get to uh, my other truck TV box so I can send it in long story right now sorry about that dogs are barking um, but yeah, that literally is the problem when you store it far away from where you actually live. Um, so if there's any little thing you need out of there, um, putting stuff in there to go camping, that's pretty simple. We just, like I said before, we keep a little pile by the front door and that's our RV pile. We know that we'll be taking out there with us, but when you need something out of there, uh, in this case, they'll probably, even though it's an older direct TV box, this is a problem. Normally, they'd probably just tell you, don't worry about it. But since, you know, you're canceling, they're going to ask for every single piece of even old equipment that they will, I almost guarantee, won't put back out in the field um, back. Or they'll probably charge me a couple hundred dollars. So it's worth the trip um, to get that. And I need to check on it anyways and see how it's doing. It's been, you know, a few months, like I say, since Dad passed on. and. See how everything's doing. Meanwhile, yeah, we're kind of heading into our summer break. Uh, a lot of you don't know if you're new to the channel. We take a break in the summer, take care of our medical health care needs. Um, and then once it cools down again, we get like to get back out there. Uh, we may take a trip before that. Um, not sure. We're still kind of contemplating it. Um, still a little burned out from just everything that's happened. Uh, and the stress of it all and just like I say taking care of some medical issues and uh, nothing major nothing to worry about refined just stuff you know when you get older little stuff happens <laughs> anyhow so yeah if you're new to the channel welcome um, I don't do these regular sometimes I think it's been a month on this one and I'll try and normally it's every couple weeks I have something to say about 
uh, normally the RV um, or the truck uh, fifth wheel in this case used to be a travel trailer hence the name of the channel but uh, yeah the on the truck I heard now I don't know if you guys have heard this some of the 5500s uh, I think someone said they had a 3500 and 5500 rammer not sure on the year I'm assuming fairly recent maybe 2020 and beyond uh, newer uh, where they're having this uh, uh, won't regen uh, error take to a dealer uh, and I forget what youtuber was watching it just the other night popped on my YouTube feed and I was kind of like oh wow uh, I didn't know that was thing and usually it was like I think he was saying most of the trucks he's owned is at over like 85,000 miles uh, when it happens so he actually checked the amount of, he, he, that he idles uh, he said he idles about he estimates about 10% of the time uh, under your hours under the gauge you can go to it and find it um, I need to check mine I think mine might be a little higher because I have a tendency to idle probably a little more often I try and cool down the turbo which we all know there's two schools of thoughts on it a lot of times I'll idle for five minutes and I don't even see any temps really dropping too much maybe slightly um, then again I don't think any of them are directly on the turbo correct me if I'm wrong leave a comment not a mechanic still learn like everybody else but you know some of the primary gauges like uh, coolant and engine oil temp and stuff like that I'll keep an eye on keep them up all the time um, anyway so yeah he said that it's been an issue in a couple of his trucks I think he's a hauler he hauls like uh, I'm not sure if it's other vehicles or what cross country and so he's a kind of like in the IT world we call a power user you know but in the rammer world he's a power trucker I guess uh, <laughs> Uh, anyhow, so leave a comment below if you guys have heard of that before. I'm sure you might have. Um, I still haven't got that CP3 fuel pump changed, believe it or not. I, it's unbelievable. I'm on actually two different dealer lists, and, you know, I've heard of people that just actually have a major issue, take their truck in, then they'll swap it out. But until that, if you're just on a list, I don't know if you ever get called. Um, so I still do the warm-up thing with it I try and keep the truck at least half or higher as far as fuel some of the things I heard about you know leave a comment um, knock on wood seems to be working um, and I think we're about 43,000 miles now I have to double check that 2019 HD 2500 diesel um, it's been great uh, no other issues haven't really towed a lot this year um, a lot of it honestly because of fuel prices um, and just other stuff going on we did a couple other trips non RV um, I think we did one tail end of last year that was pretty substantial um, put some decent miles on it and everything ran fine um only thing i issue and i i think it was one of the videos that made me did have a problem with the rv and the water uh heater went out um and it was really strange it was just that one rv park in particular that shouldn't have anything to do with the water heater uh, unless it was low water pressure which didn't seem to be um, the RC came out and everything seemed fine. We still went ahead and replaced, I think it was the igniter control or the control board, the control board. Um, just, just in case, uh, again, haven't had any issues since, but haven't used a lot last times. So it was October and then February, I believe this is the last time we actually used the water heater and it's, it ran fine. Um, other than that, we got recalls done on it. Um, as far as I know, there hasn't been any other recalls on the reflection. Um, not that I know of anyways. I did see a video of some people were having issues with the roof along the seal, uh, uh, the seam, front edge, back edge. Keep a close eye on that. 
uh, I need I need to do the same thing. I need to get up there and do an inspection and um, give it a good cleaning and um, seal it the best I can. I'll probably have RC at some point do it professionally, uh, just just to keep it in good working order. That's one good thing that where we do have it, even though it's so far away, it is under uh, cover, which gives it some protection. But it gets god awful hot out there, so it's really a trade off. Um, it's kind of like a uh, storage area with what they do out there is they have solar over the storage area so it kind of gets two purposes one the um, solar provides solar for the RV park and then it gives the storage area cover which is kind of nice um, gets cover probably till about two or three in the afternoon starts coming around so it's kind of hitting the front um, that's when it does get pretty hot where it's at. Um, when I say hot, I'm talking 105 easy. It's no problem. Um, and a lot hotter in the summer. But it kind of hits the front cap at that point. So I know last year we had some these little fake candles my wife likes to get. They, they still have wax in them. And they all melted down. I was, we couldn't believe it. It was like, well, we could believe it as hot as it gets. But... We knew how hot it got in the RV too. So, um, other than that, everything's going good. Um, again, I don't make these unless I have a lot to talk about. Got a few things. Leave a comment below if you've experienced any of this. Um, uh, try to do these a little more regular. But uh, anyhow, it's getting almost 17 minutes. Probably get a little long on the tooth here, long winded, and. You guys have a great day.